So once you've knit your heel flap and you've turned the heel, it's time to create the gussets. Now what are the gussets when I say gusset? So if we look at this sock as an example, we've knit the heel flap, we've turned the heel, so we've turned that heel, so we've created the bottom of the sock. And now what we have to do is create this part. So we've, we've got these stitches that have been hanging out and we haven't work, been working on. And we've had these stitches that we have been working on. And we need to bring them together. So the gusset is basically what we call this part of the sock. And it's what brings it all together. So it, it'll once again form a round sock for the bottom of the foot. So how do we do that? We just finished doing the short rows. What typically design's gonna tell you to do is you're ready to knit your right side row. After you turn your heel, you're gonna to go to the end of the row. And now we have the stitches that we need to connect with our heel flap. So we've got these and these. What, we're, what we want to do is we're gonna pick up stitches along this, on the, along the side of the heel flap. So we're gonna go ahead and go in and we're gonna, we're gonna go in and pick up stitches. We're gonna stay pretty close to the edge because you don't want a big seam on the inside of the foot. So we're just gonna go in and pick up. So since we put, did eight rows and then we did a, a row of, of short rows, we'll probably pick up eight stitches on the way down we can keep track and say, okay, this is where we ended. So we've now started picking up. We've got three, and then the tricky part is really when you get down to here and you get, now this is the final, you know, how are you gonna make sure that this connects to this? And you wanna do it without there being a hole. What we do is pick up the next stitch down in the heel flap stitches, which will be on the same row as the stitches for the top of the foot and pick that one up there. Now we've picked up all the gusset stitches on this side of the sock we're ready to start knitting the stitches on the top of the foot. So when you get to the end of the row of the top of the foot stitches that were on that circular needle that you haven't knit, you then come to the other side of the heel flap and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna start picking up stitches, but don't use the needle that has the top of the foot stitches on it. Instead, go back and find the, the needle that has all the rest of the heel flap and the gusset stitches on it and start picking up on that needle. So again, you don't want to make a hole, so we don't want to go in that one, so we're going to go into that one. And then when you come to the end of the number of stitches you need to pick up in the heel flap, on that side, on the right side of the heel, you're gonna continue knitting. So you're gonna keep knitting, and now you're gonna knit across the heel, across the bottom of the foot. You're gonna knit the gusset stitches that you just picked up. So that becomes part of the row of stitches that is on the heel needle. So what you can now see is you're back to working in the round. You have a heel. 
You've got to gusset along each side. What you'll also end up seeing is that you need the gusset to shrink. Here's the example. So it starts out big and then you see it's going to decrease. And so the next, the next um, thing that you'll do is you'll just start decreasing gusset stitches. And, and that's really going to be dictated by the sock that you're working on. The, the design will give you the instructions on how many and how often to decrease. It's usually every other row until you get down to a certain number of stitches. So that is how you pick up gusset stitches.